Governor Charlie Baker says he is focusing on getting folks back to the workplace safely. And as Ken McLeod reports, it comes as the state had a mixed day of numbers. On day three of phase one, the governor put the spotlight on a local company that is open and on the comeback trail after a COVID retooling of most workplace rules. There is certainly no playbook for managing a business through a pandemic. That's the boss at Simmons Industries in Braintree, a third generation plumbing hardware company looking to overcome its toughest challenge in 80 years, run a productive factory, warehouse and office under COVID-19 restrictions. The sort of physical closeness associated with work is clearly going to change. And so the 25 employees just rehired are distance, masked, and sometimes partitioned on the job amid hygiene and disinfecting protocols that are part of their new normal workflow. It's awkward, but accepted change. But not only have they accepted it, it's, it's almost like the, the true shining of humanity coming back out. They, they're like, let's go, let's fight on. This phase one success comes as most of the state's COVID metrics build on three weeks of relatively steady improvement, with just over 1,000 new cases today and 128 deaths, even as many folks heed the governor's call to keep working remotely. Luckily, we're going to still be working from home, even though the phases are telling us that we can open back up. But as that reopening plays out, a new poll shows the overwhelming majority of Americans fear it might trigger a COVID rebound, and more than half are very concerned about it. We do want to reopen. We want the economy to be saved, but at the same time, not at the cost of lives. Following these protocols, following this process is really important. Back in Braintree, state officials stress they stand ready to help any business make the COVID safe transition, and the mayor downplayed concerns that violators will require heavy handed enforcement. I believe and trust that these businesses will do what they're supposed to do. And, you know, there's always going to be a few that don't. Meantime, the governor says daycares currently operating for the kids of essential workers still have 6,500 open slots, enough to cover parents returning to work under phase one, but probably not phase two. At the State House tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken